Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and today I just wanted to show you the Cortex boss fight from the Nexus, which is in the Synthesis League, the current newest league that is out, and I wanted to just um, show you the fight as I saw it and as I tried it on the Soul Drain character. It is the second time I've come across the Cortex boss fight, and I still don't really have much clue of what's going on. I'm still learning the fight, but if you have not yet seen it, uh, I figured I'd put out a video just so you can see what the end game of the Nexus looks like. Um, so fair warning, it is a bit of a spoiler if you haven't come across it yourself. It's an eye level 82 boss fight that involves several phases, several waves of bosses, and uh, is probably the most challenging thing you can do in the Nexus right now. And just before I show that video of the Cortex boss fight, I do want to just uh, mention that the Nexus itself got somewhat of an update and we got a big patch uh, involving uh, all kinds of reward systems and uh, just quality of lives for the Nexus. And I uh, just wanted to mention how you can spawn a boss fight. So previously it was by uh, actually getting to and running your notable memory nodes so that um, you'd complete it and then other shit would spawn in its place. And quite often that would be a boss fight. So very often you would have at least one boss fight um, to work towards throughout your nexus and then you completed it once it decayed you triggered another uh, completion from somewhere else and another boss fight would spawn once you're running level 82 plus content i think it's just level 82 plus it might be level 80 plus uh, eventually you will have the cortex boss spawn so this is just a regular boss the cortex boss spawns if you are running really high level content uh, continuously eventually you will have a cortex boss it seems to be a bit rng maybe something like one in three one in four of the boss encounters that spawn for you will be cortex if you're running the really high uh, level 80 type stuff and besides that there's just one thing i want to mention about how to move memories now so currently you can uh, pick up your memories from your map and put them into your little memory uh, box. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, and then reuse them in another place. So you can just do that and put it there. For example, this will disappear. It will take all of the mods that it previously had with it. So for example, this essence and currency stuff, if you pick that up, it's not going to be there anymore, but you can then replace it somewhere else. And you have to make sure there's an empty slot in your box to be able to do this. And then one other thing you can do is also move your memories like um, the ones with additional uh, well, let's just say um, memory bonuses like this two additional currency shards to the start of your Nexus so that you can then run it if you don't want it to be wasted. So for example, let's just um, move one of these. So you have to walk up to your memory stabilizer, click it, and then you can see every single node on your tree right now that can be placed there. So I wanna place this one right there, and now I can run it with its extra rewards without having to go all the way out. So that's really all I wanted to mention here before showing you the boss fight. Uh, it is just some quality of life for your Nexus so you can start moving your stuff around a bit easier and uh, completing your rewards without really having to travel all the way back out if you just want to deal with a few of your little notes. So thank you very much for watching guys. Enjoy the Cortex boss fight and see you next time. Now what does it want from me? Um, complete the Cortex boss encounter without being hit by the first construction of the Fractal Gargantuan or its skills. Don't get hit, forehead. Okay, complete the Cortex encounter without detonating any of the unstable energy that travels toward the Fractal Titan. Without detonating any of the unstable energy that travels towards. I'm supposed to detonate it because it buffs him. I believe. It makes some shit. So this is actually something that makes it harder. Okay. Complete the Cortex boss encounter while there are no more than six void pits or pylons active. So that's just a speedrun. Maybe. Unless it's something I trigger as well. Mostly speedrun. While there are at least 12 void pits or pylons active. Oh fuck off. So then reverse speedrun. Complete the Cortex boss encounter without being hit by Synthet Masterpiece's multi-teleport projectiles. And no. Alright, goodbye XP, as far as I can tell. You did well to last this long. Hello, seven minute fight. 
that straight digs me. Oh god, what's happening? Okay, so it's the center, and it respawns shit. Okay. Oh god. Deep seems okay. Hey, how do I know which way he starts though? How do I know which way he's gonna fucking start like that? That seemed not good. Fuck off, man, with these fucking things. Ah, phone's buzzing. Stop it. So I'm supposed to not get touched by that shit because it ports you in front of him, I think. Oh, actual jukish forms. I got hit by every single one of those last time. <laughs> okay, so far so good. We're still alive. Uh, what's this? Ads? Ads. Ads. Okay, it's ads. I'd say my dialogue is too quiet as well. I don't hear um, any of what Kavas is saying, and it would be nice. Did I do alright? Looks alright. Okay, so this buffs him supposedly, right? And I let him get hit by one. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I don't know how to dodge this now. Ah! Let's pretend I dodged that. Dodged! Pog. The skill. Ah. Okay, I don't... Wanna get hit by that. I don't know what I got hit by just then. A big swelly thing, I think, maybe? Because I was running away from the uh, black balls, which port you back in. <sighs> okay. I think there was some sort of swell that I'm supposed to avoid as well. I had no idea. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. How do I? Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Shut da, da. <laughs> Uh, I needed to stand in the middle for that and then pour it out, but I wasn't close enough to begin with. Because I dodged that attack like every time on um, the EK dude. But that's because I was always like trying to stand in melee range, kinda. this, and then you go blah. Does he take way less damage when that's up, or what? Or am I just not dealing that much to him? Is that the end? Did I finish? Did I win? There's more, right? More? Less? More? Ah, yeah, ah, ah, ooh. I did it? I did it! What are these? Why am I excited? Am I excited? Should I be excited? Leech gloves? Leech effects not removed at full life. The stats. Offering to the serpent. 
Um, did we make money? Slayer Ascendancy unlocked. Fifty C. All right, not bad. So yeah, that's the fight. If you haven't seen it, and uh, TLDR, what the fuck is going on?